Okay, we are live right now. Well, good morning and uh, welcome to Coffee with the Coach. Today we have three coaches, no waiting, and we're broadcasting from two continents, uh, along with uh, Dr. Milou, who is, uh, you know, and uh, have become very familiar with. We have Zulma coming from uh, Pensacola, Florida. Good morning, Zulma. And uh, I did not hear your audio, so you may want to check that. It looks like your microphone is off. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> and we also have Salaf coming from the UK. Good morning, Salaf. Hello. Hello. You're bright and colorful this day. Thank nice you. To, <laughs> nice, nice to see you. So um, welcome to Coffee with the Coach. And um, so how, uh, where are you in the UK? I guess that's my first curiosity. Hello, everybody. Um, thanks for tuning in. Um, well, it's quite bright and sunny on and off. It's in the afternoon here in the UK, three o'clock. Um, yeah, I'm here connected with my fellow coaches and I'm really happy being here. Um, Senior and Vision, we are quite newly started in the UK and we are really looking to expand. And um, at this stage, we're in the early stages but we've got so much things to, um, to share to people in the UK and um, hopefully um, we will get the right people on board to share what we have. Very good. So how long have you been with Vino and Vision Global? Um, actually, since last year, it's been, I think, six months now. Oh, it's so quick. <laughs> Time flies, really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is so quick. I started last year. Very good. And yeah. Zuma, how are you doing in Florida? I am doing well. I'm a little bit cold today. We woke up to a 55 degree weather. So <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> you just never know what you're going to get. Well, we just had our, uh, uh, hopefully our last freeze of the year here in St. Louis. It actually dropped uh, into the 30s, almost freezing here. So hopefully the plants are well and uh, Good thing I planted no tomatoes yet. So we're all <laughs> <laughs> Same here. bright and sunny as well. So, yes. so it won't be long. We'll be, at, we'll be 80 later this week. So mm -hmm. springtime is, is coming. And, and it's uh, perfect timing because I'll be there Thursday. So Thursday. Well, there you go. You'll be, be bringing the Florida weather with you. <laughs> so that's right. So, uh, Dr. Milou, you have your convention coming up this week, don't you? Yes, we have a few coaches coming and we have our staff joining us and we have a weekend planned very well. So hopefully we will have fun. And one of the evening going to be outside in a winery. So that one, uh, I think the Saturday evening uh, and we are hoping to be 80 degree that day. So that should be fun. Sounds fabulous. That sounds fabulous. And I, and I, for some reason, am going the opposite direction. I'm going to the cold. To, <laughs> Where are you going? I ha I need to go see my daughter who had uh, some urgencies come up. Her, uh, her dog got hit by a car, and so she's uh -oh. a little distraught. So I'm going out to uh, help her through some of the things she's going through. Okay. Well, uh, hopefully it's not as cold, uh, but well, it's, it's Lake Tahoe. I think it's 37 degrees there this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Very well. Sala is in Swindon. Swindon uh, is about uh, how far from London, Sala? You're looking at two hours away, depending on what part of London, but two hours on a fair note. Very good. <laughs> Yeah, you're two hours from London. So we are, uh, you know, so our... is it is it a big city or is it uh, more rural? It's more rural. Uh -huh. It's 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 a town, but gotcha. to qualify a city is quite a big town. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. When you are two hours from London, you are uh, not that far away from big city. So that's very good because Sala is our uh, associate coach in London and she's focusing on 
growing Europe region for us. And Zulma is our lead coach, and she is uh, global lead. And uh, her one of her key role is to work with our European team to develop that uh, region. So we are looking for fascinating coaches and fascinating customers in Europe. Uh, and that should bring us uh, uh, much closer together, uh, the continents being closer together. And now Vino and Vision uh, is going to bring that uh, our approach here in the US to a global mode. And Salah is the one who is starting in Europe. Very good. Well, with your uh, <laughs> online opportunities and uh, your, your your uh, Facebook groups and participation, it's uh, like you're in the next room. <laughs> awesome. It's almost like being there. So what uh, is uh, our theme this month? Is it self-discovery? This is aspiration. Oh, this is aspiration. Sorry, vision, I'm sorry. This is our vision month and next month will be the dream month. So. We, our vision taking us to uh, further, and as you can see, now we cross the Atlantic to the other side. Uh, last, uh, you know, my vacation this month, I was in Hilton Head, and as you know, there I can see the Atlantic Ocean. So I was right uh, on the beach and I was uh, pointing uh, uh, towards the uh, other continent, and I was telling my wife that, you know, if we just take the boat, and go straight will be in the UK. So that's the key is uh, in, with the Zoom and virtual world, now we are connected so closely that we don't have to do that. We can be connected anywhere and everywhere. And that's the goal of Vino and Vision to bring the global community together. And as we discussed, Tony, our theme that we are building is called we. It's not I. It's not you, it's we. It's we. It's not even us, it's we. When it is we, it's all inclusive. It's everybody together. And that's what we are going to build. And Salah is here to help us spread the word and help us grow in Europe. Well, Europe is a, is a huge melting pot of uh, many, many, people from many countries, uh, their borders are, are so uh, much closer, like our states are. And so um, the we is so much more universal, and so much more, so, so important. You, yes, you and meet with people the, from many different customs. Yes, and with the vision of we, that's even much more stronger, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, I know that Europe is experiencing some difficult time with the COVID and now the war in Ukraine, which, uh, uh, you know, I'm always against war. War is not the answer, peace is, and we have to build peace. And the we is the mindset we need to have to build peace. And that's what we need to do. And hopefully we know and vision message in Europe will build that because we are building in a mindset of mindfulness, we're building in a mindful uh, mindness of togetherness and create a better world with creativity and positive change. So we don't talk about negative change, we talk about positive change and war is a negative change and we need to eliminate that word from our vocabulary. So hopefully with the vision month, which is uh, coming to the end and next will be dream month, we will be focusing on much more deeper level of building a dream. So, so, so have, with, with that theme of vision, um, how can you see um, people's viewpoints changing um, to, to bring the we into our lives on a daily basis? What, what can we do? Right, and, and that answer will come from Zulma and Salah because they will be the next generation moving this forward for us, hopefully. Yes, us old guys are, <laughs> <laughs> are, are going to sit the, back for a while and let you right. run the bus. <laughs> well, I'll let you go for Zulma. <laughs> well, I'm itching to talk about that. 
<laughs> oh my goodness. Um, where to start? Because really it, it's a matter of understanding that vision is way further than what we can tangibly see that that is physical. So a vision means that we need to be able to see with our mind's eye. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, that was- There's your mind's my, eye right there. Yeah, <laughs> that was my phone. Um, let me turn that off. Hold on. So, being so able what to you're see, saying is, is you're saying the world is not flat. It's much more than we can see. Correct, yes. And if we want to just focus on very specific understanding of where that starts. And we are talking about the we unifying everyone to understand that um, there are ways, better ways to do things than what you know the old ways were or what we may think is the only answer. And right now what we're talking about very specific um, very specific events that are going on. But when we talk about vision, it starts with leadership and it starts with responsible leadership. And that's where the we comes together and where vision is also a part of that. What is it that we want to do on our own personal life first that will be then impacted with the relationship that we have um, a co the collective relationship that we have with others. So that, for me, that's what vision is all about. How do I foresee my future and how it impacts what it does in relationship to everyone else that I'm in touch with? Well, the challenge with leadership is, has always been power and money. And um, no matter who, our options are, they never seem to be great options, at least in the United States. I don't know how that is in the UK, Sala. You, you live in a world with a queen and um, you, you don't have to vote people in all the time. I, I can only, I don't know how, how parliament works, but um, if, those, if they are voted in or if they are brought in by the power group. <laughs> but it, it's always about money and uh, power. So how do we get our leaders to change their vision? That's the, that's the biggest challenge. And, and I don't know that we can actually control that. Uh, we can only control ourselves. And um, I guess in this country, it's uh, you decide to enroll in the military or you don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I think That's Salah would be giving us a good example of that. So Salah, why don't you tell us your vision of Europe at the same times? What do you see in this we mindset that we are growing in Europe? Yeah, I mean, something was just coming through my head. Um, as you mentioned about leadership and the world and the queen and all that. Um, the most interesting thing is um, it all starts between us and we are the ones creating these leaders to start with. Um, thinking about it coming from you out to the world and there we have the we. The tiny, tiny things that we do that we think doesn't mean anything. This is where the bigger picture is for me. It all starts from step one. It's very interesting to think about um, what the leaders does at the higher end, but without step one, we cannot get there. Being inclusive, like Zulma said, thinking about the we, it's on our part as an individual, as an I, what are we doing on a daily basis to meet with yourself, everybody else's I, that will become our we in that aspect. What am I doing on a daily basis in my corner as an I? Could be our collective we, being part of something bigger. Being what are you contributing? Yeah, mm -hmm. to me, this is the vision 
especially in Europe, right? And in UK, mm -hmm. having different coaches, different communities, different customers, everybody wants to heal the world, but healing really starts from us. But we have to come together. This is why um, we are out as Vino and Vision. We want to heal together and it starts from us, but we need to come together at the same time to define the we, because we need to support each other. We need to love each other. We need to um, promote kindness and sharing. And then that's where the miracle comes. Then we start having good leadership in the world. Very nicely said about miracle comes from within. Yes. <laughs> yes, and you can see what- It doesn't what... have to be rocket science. It starts within us and we have to, um, um, heal ourselves and invite the we as a group as a team so yeah. this is the vision and i hope being in europe in america every part of the world if we decide to come together there's endless possibilities fabulous, the fabulous. Vision, the as connection a coach, and yeah. the network <laughs> exactly as a coach that we are seeing that Coaching is very embedded in within the coachee, right? It's all about the coachee, not about us as a coach. Yeah. So it's changing that one person at a time, right? And changing us to focus on that we mindset is the beginning of the journey, Tony. And, and that's what Salah is saying is that each person has a role to play. We are here for a reason and we better excel that reason. And if we do that, it's not about us and it's not about us or I or anybody else. It's about we. It's about the future. It's about, about the generations to come. So that is what creating this mindset. And I think what Salah said is very important is having individually what we do every single minute in our life and change the world with the positivity. I'm pretty sure Zulma is agreeing with that. <laughs> uh, yes, what Sala shared, um, it's what I call micro movements. Sometimes we think that in order to create the change this world needs, we have to do something hugely impactful and that's far from the truth. Micro movements are those things we do on a daily basis like she shared. Um, and for us who are in the coaching um, space, it means when we meet with a client, how do we feel about the work that we do? How and what um, energy do we do the things that we do for ourselves? And that requires what I call non-conforming attitude. And it may be thought that non-conforming could be more like a, well, I don't like this, I'm gonna rebel against it. And that's not true. It's all about doing those things that can make us uncomfortable, right? Growing out of habits, building new habits because they require a lot of effort. So non-conforming means if there's something you don't like about life in general or things that you do in a general basis, you shift towards changing that. And again, when we talk about the mind's eye, it's not about the tangible or the physical. And it's that energetic form of communication that we have with ourselves and with others around us. That for me as a mother, that's my children, um, you know, the beings that I'm in communication with constantly. How is it that my energy is communicating to them what I am all about? Sometimes that doesn't even require words or actions. It's about that feel that you get for what we stand for. And that's a core value in responsible leadership. Well, that's and all we can do is uh, to lead those among us in our own um, circle of influence as best that we can. And Absolutely. those be your children and um, the children who are your coaches. <laughs> mm -hmm. Those are also your children uh, mm -hmm. to a certain extent and um, your friends and family. And it's, it's, it's not trying, uh, I presume, 
It is not trying to change their mindset, but to get to understand them and help them understand other perspectives. So understand, teaching that understanding is the challenge when um, people pick their sides. Um, and I think you've seen, you see that in, in the political sphere so much uh, that people have, it's my side or your side, um, instead of, I have an opinion <laughs> and it may be right or wrong, but that is my, that is what I perceive from the life I've experienced. Yes, and and also you can you can connect that with uh, the role you play, right? The roles that come to you has a intention behind it, and you know, like today, Tony, and uh, you were mentioning last episode that. Two years ago, you and I met and discussed about something similar to Vino and Vision. And today we are sitting here and we are discussing with Sela in Europe. So we are crossing the border. The reality of Vino and Vision. The reality of Vino and Vision. So that's, and we have far, far, far to go. So Sela is who is starting that phase for us in Europe. I like Sela to tell us a little bit about her vision in Europe and beyond. Right. Um, our vision and my vision and everybody's vision, and I think it is really so sellable that um, I hope everybody will be willing to be part of um, what we are offering to the world. And I think in Europe, there is so much um, opportunities, so much potential because um, we live in this world of um, uncertainties. We don't know what next tomorrow. We don't know where we head into. And there's so much eventful things happening in the world. And if you are not grounded, and if you don't have a sense of directions, if you're not part of a community, it becomes so difficult for you to excel, for you to really um, know your worth or be able to go to a higher height. So with Vino and Vision, we are offering an opportunity for you to come and be part of something bigger. Not come and fix the world, but to come and network and be part of something that is beyond imaginary. You could be clients. It could be coaches, whatever it is, we're opening our doors to say, come and connect with us from a holistic approach. This world sometimes doesn't make sense and it doesn't have to make sense. This is why we're here. We have our mind. We have to keep on thinking. We are in work in progress. I cannot be the same person tomorrow and I cannot be the same person next year. So we are evolving. Imagine the power of evolving within a community, within a team of like-minded people. That is really powerful. So with Vino and Vision, um, I think there's a lot of opportunities, especially in Europe, for people to come and connect. And to, um, because I remember um, being in the coaching field, I think I had this discussion earlier with Zuma or with uh, Milo before. Coaching can be really daunting and can be sometimes really alone and lonely. At some point, if you really don't um, ground yourself and get yourself to be part of something or have a continuous vision that will give you that persistence to keep going. And then also that will go back to the eye. You don't want to be doing things in the eye. Being a coach, you could be the most qualified coach in the world. But as long as you are doing the eye on your own, every time you are not serving um, the world, you are serving yourself and perhaps your network of clients. But I think if you are um, 
if you are a coach that really cares about the world and where we go to the next level, I think you should really consider being part of something bigger and involve the we. Very nicely said. Uh, yeah, there is a yeah. lot of things like um, um, everything that we cannot discuss here, but obviously um, we're looking for, um, oh, sorry, my net, oh, there we go. That was my battery warning, sorry about that. But absolutely, um, we have so much to offer in Europe. It just takes the first step, right? The first step is connect and explore and still grow your practice. There is nothing stopping me being in the other part of the world, not growing and being part of something bigger. It's just a win-win and a bonus. Yes, and, and that yeah. is the key of what Sala is saying is being part of something bigger than you bigger than your vision can take you. And that's what reach into the dream zone. Because just imagine that, Tony, right now you are viewed, we are viewed in Europe, right? Through Salah. And then if we have many other European coaches who is sharing the same vision, join us, will be a lot of places. So the question here is, what is that do to be part of a community that is constantly going and looking for uh, nicer and better things to do for the world? If that message is conveyed through us individually, we have a role to play. And I'm pretty sure Zulma will agree with that, but I want to share Zulma's vision about the global picture here. Oh, goodness. I, my vision for our collective vision is that we continue to not just do the difference, but continue being the difference. I have interviewed a lot of coaches and it's very interesting to hear what their vision is in resonating with what Sala shared about um, serving ourselves versus having a vision that's a part of, of a larger um, vision for a collective um, and uh, collective community is the fact that it is reflective of how we respond when it comes to why do you want to be a part of a community? Because it is going to require the doing, but that's not necessarily why we are a part of something bigger. It's about the being. It has to be deep within our core to want to say no to the old ways right? To want to be innovative and creative, which is what Vino and Vision is all about. That's going to require bravery at times and courage to say no. Saying no to, um, like Tony mentioned, a lot of the things that are going on have, are directly related to money and power. So saying no to using power um, and focusing yeah. on the use of power over the needs of people, right? Profit over people as well. So being the difference means wanting to part of a community that wants to be different and it wants to also um, have those micro movements every day, right? Someone can think, well, how would engaging in, in our class make a difference for me? Oh, it will. If you participate, if you engage, it will make a difference for you that then you can ripple to your family, to your community. Again, those very small things that we think wouldn't matter, they matter and they matter a lot once they start stacking up. So my vision is to continue doing that and to um, you know, share and not be discouraged or focus on those that are not ready for this. There are plenty of those that are ready. Like Sala, for example, she and I didn't know each other before our first meeting and now we do and now we're working together to continue sharing the work that we're doing at Vino and Vision. Well that's very well said and, and it does come down to um, not choosing to influence people with power but it comes down to understanding people and trying to shed some light on a perspective that they haven't considered before. And like you say, micro movements. 
um, you don't change the world all at once um, unless you <laughs> unless invade you a country <laughs> and, and force your ways upon them. You know, you have to take it. You know, you have to understand the people uh, that, around, that surround you. And so it's wonderful to see um, someone from Sala, from the UK and from different experiences. Uh, we're all human beings. We all have the same common daily challenges um, and how you move forward with your with your with life and enjoying life yes and uh, to the to the essence of it i want to mention that when you are in rome act like romans so <laughs> i want to say that rome was not built in a day rome I heard was that. not built in a day right so even the art was not built in a day it took 7 days in uh, following the uh, religious religious belief but still Rome was not built in a day. So we know and vision will not be done in one, one day. We have to grow it. We as individual has a role to play. And as we grow, we will see that. And our vision will take us there. And with Salah and with Zulma, we are leading the way. And right now, uh, globally, we're leading the way with Zulma. And Salah is contributing and doing her part in Europe and eventually global vision will come into picture as well. So I thank you both for participating and contributing and engaging the level you are because you make a difference. And once, you know, my, my earlier statement about Rome was not built in a day. We have to have patience and we have to have uh, the vision to see through. And once we are, we will be making a significant impact in this world. And that's for positive change, creative, using the creativity. So I look forward to working with both of you. And Tony, of course, because Tony was there before I even started Vino and Vision. Well, it's, uh, it's, it's great to get the perspectives of people um, from all over the world. And um, it starts one step at a time. So from from St. Louis to Florida to the UK to the next steps uh, of more coaches and more people joining us from around the world, please bring us all your, pers your perspectives. We could all grow. And I guess uh, we have overstayed our time uh, on today's session. And I thank you all for. Um, sharing uh, your knowledge with me. Thank you very much. Thank you, Tony. It's always excellent. You're welcome. Time. It's been a pleasure. Thank you.